don't no brush your teeth, don't no change your clothes, clothes, don't charge phones. Wait, for they got no driver here, we moving off. What's going on? Who's driving? Uh, exactly, who's <laughs> driver? What's going the on here? Guys, we're on our way to the Philae Temple. Our new Ben brothers are driving us. See how much they look like us? <laughs> The real Africans of the real Egyptians, right? Yeah. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Chain up, no one knows. But I won't let the stormy sea. Alright, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. If you haven't subscribed as yet, just hit that subscribe button down below and join this family on YouTube. Now guys, I hope you liked this outfit from yesterday because you're going to be seeing a lot more of it. We just, we had this on all of yesterday. We took a 12 and a half hour, 13 hour ride from, um, from Cairo to Aswan. And our guide is saying that there's no way for us to check in this early. So we're going to start our tours. So no shower, no, no brush your teeth, no, no change your clothes, clothes, no charge phones. So guys, listen, this is for you. Y'all had better bad. watch this video, <laughs> like, subscribe. And I do hope you really and truly like the outfit from yesterday because you're going to be seeing a lot more of it. So see you in a bit. <laughs> around Lake Nasser here and there were farmers they were dependent on the water here for their produce and all of that good stuff but because of the building of the dam they had to be relocated and later today we're gonna to go to their village and you'll see where they have been moved okay so just a little bit of history about the dam here between the, so the then Soviet Union and Egypt. This is built in the shape of a lotus flower and the lotus flower is a very important, a very significant part of Egyptian culture. It's a flower that um, opens up, blooms in the morning and closes every night. So when the Egyptians wanted to build the dam, they had approached um, the UK who was in charge of the World Bank then and they had actually told them that they would have given, given them 200 million um, US to start the project. However, they needed some additional assistance from America. When they approached America, there was a condition that said that they had to give, um, they had to allow military trucks to be built in Egypt. The Egyptians refused, so the president of the US then declined to help them and also prevented the World Bank from helping them. So they went to Russia and Russia gave them 400 million US dollars. In addition to that, they also gave them weapons um, to defend themselves against uh, future attacks. So, the Soviet Union made it even sweeter by just accepting a Bacchus payment, $200 million in cash, but the other $200 million was actually paid back in kind in the form of fruits and wheat and produce. Yeah, so that was a pretty sweet deal for them. So the Soviet Union and Egypt had a very good relationship and this is what it is symbolized by. Hello. 
Watch your head on your step. So your we're head. going over to the fillet, what's the name? Yeah. Fillet temple. temple, yes. Fillet temple, and we're taking a boat over. You all know how much I love boats, right? So we're going to see how clever she is. <laughs> and riding boat, watch your head. Watch your head. Excellent. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Here we go, I'm traveling on the boat. Wait, they got no driver here. We moving off. What's going on? Who's driving? Uh, exactly. Who's driver? What's going on? The cabin. Hey? <laughs> so in general, by the way, so most of the, all the people who live around the temple, the same color. Yeah. Yes. Same here. Yes. <laughs> same here. <laughs> Temple. The fillet temple was built in reverence to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Isis is the ancient Egyptian goddess of magic, fertility, and motherhood, and death, healing, and rebirth. She is the mother of Horus, the sky god. The legend is that the dad of Horus was murdered by his brother Seth, and Horus was a savior to banish Seth. And because Isis was the mother of the savior Horus, she is highly regarded and respected. An interesting story about the Flay Temple is that it was nearly lost underwater in the 1960s when the high dam was being built. Each brick had to be moved stone by stone to this new location today. Aswan was a lot cleaner and a lot less chaotic than Cairo. It had an old school charm that I really, really enjoyed. And uh, it was just very Egyptian, for want of a better word. I really did enjoy being here and driving through the streets. Right, guys so for the next few days we're gonna be cruising down the Nile on the magic one so we just got to the boat yard I don't know what they call it it's a boat yard right yeah we just got to the boat yard so we're gonna go in now and uh, go in register um, shower and we're gonna lunch yeah let's show you what um inside looks like
Hey guys thank you so much for watching i do hope you liked this vlog if you did just hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe watch out for the full tour for a boat in the next vlog